Hey, it's Travel Jiggler. We're at Walter Sassoon Botanical Gardens in Johannesburg. The Water Sisulu Botanical Gardens is about a 300 hectare reserve that is located in the West Strand area of Gauteng. There's ample parking and from there it's a short walk to getting your tickets to enter the site. You can buy a map of the gardens at the entrance or you can just download it or look at it on your cell phone. The various walks and features are quite well marked out, so it's quite easy to find your way around. Probably the biggest attraction of the Botanical Gardens is the waterfall and that's behind me right now. So that's all year round and it can be really crazy after a big thunderstorm. So this for me is kind of a, a favorite place to come out, a nice spot to come hang out, especially now when there's a lot of restrictions and it's difficult to go to places. So at least you can come here and it's fairly open. Um, you don't have to worry too much about there being crowds and so on that are in close proximity to you. We're here at the beginning of August, so it's still winter and it's pretty dry. It's not normally like this, but for this type of season and this time of year, this is quite typical, not just of the park, but of the high felt in general. So this is a great place to come during the COVID lockdown because you can get out and about and walk around, get some exercise. And it's really cool because there's a lot of birds and you get the feeling of being outdoors. In addition to walking around the park, there is a 3.5 kilometer hike as well. The hike doesn't require any specific degree of fitness. However, there are a couple of steep sections where you've got to go up and down stairs, for example. There are numerous areas in the park where you can stop and sit at a bench to take a rest. Note that during the COVID lockdown, you cannot picnic within the park itself. Although under normal circumstances, you can picnic in the park. This is a great place to come and learn about indigenous plant life and biodiversity in South Africa. So it's great there's a lot of information about the various types of flowers and plants that are growing within the garden. There's a nice restaurant on site where you can sit and order food and there's also a kiosk next to that where you can buy snacks and stuff. Depending when you come, there can be quite a bit of people. If you come in the week time, for example, and it's relatively quiet, we're here on the weekend and surprisingly, there aren't that many people. This, of course, is very accessible from Johannesburg and surrounds, so it does get quite busy. If you're into geology, there's a cool geological walk that takes you through the ages from the beginning of the earth up to present day. And along the walk, there are examples of the different minerals and rocks that you would encounter in the major geological groups in South Africa. The Botanical Gardens are famous for their bird life. According to the website, there are about 240 species that have been recorded within the Botanical Garden. So probably the most popular or well-known bird here is the Vero's Eagle. And there are a couple of nests here. I believe only one of them is active, but that is something that a lot of people come here to see. It is quite a distance from ground level to where those nests are up on these rocky mountains so you do need a camera with a really good zoom if you want to get some good pictures. The Botanical Garden is also famous for its outdoor concerts. Of course that's not happening right now but there's really great stage and there's been some fantastic concerts at the site. Notably Sandby has gone to great lengths to accommodate the situation that we have now with the COVID-19 lockdown. So you'll find that everything is sanitized when you come in, you get sanitized as is required typically by the regulations. But in addition to that, for example, the benches are sanitized and there are areas that are specifically set aside so that you can sit there, but they've also taken precautions to make sure that it's safe for you to use the park and its amenities. There are areas that have been danger taped off and you can't go there and the reason for that of course is just to manage the risk insofar as COVID-19 is concerned. Take note that there are no rubbish bins in the park so whatever you bring with you, you have to leave with. There are the usual amenities here, so there's bathrooms for example which you'll find at the main entrance. One of the cool things about the botanical gardens is that they are wheelchair friendly. So most of the areas and amenities can be accessed by wheelchair. This is a cool place to just come and get outdoors and just get your heart rate up getting a walk in or just enjoy being out in nature for a while. It's really nice that you have access to a place like this within a sort of bustling hub like the Greater Joburg and Pretoria area. So hope you found this informative. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, also subscribe please. It's nice to get that support and also leave a comment below with some of your thoughts and ideas. So until the next episode, go everywhere, see everything, have a great time.